Going into year number two, this is our lineup. We got Voracek, Giroux, Simmons, Gallagher, Couturier, Lucic, Lawton, Cullen, White, McDonald, Gudest, Umberger. I really like our team, especially down the middle. We got a really nice center core. We got good wingers. In terms of defense, we got Strait, Gudis, Delzato, Gostasphere, Hag, and Schultz. Obviously, our defensive core is the weakest part of the team. We definitely need to upgrade that if we're going to want to win a Stanley Cup. And in terms of goalies, we got Mason and Neuvers. Now, one thing I noticed as I was just kind of evaluating the team and whatnot before the video was we got $9 million of in cap space right now. We are going to be losing two big contracts in terms of Strait and Umberger. Umberger, obviously his contract was from back when he was better. He, we're going to shed about $4.5 of his contract, with, which will be really nice. Strait might retire. Nonetheless, we're going to shed $5 million off of his. But it, it looks good, but then we go to goalies, and we got Mason, who is on his last year, too. He's only making four mil right now. He's, especially in the game, an 87 overall, he's going to want, I'd say, around six million minimum. That's what I would guess. We, we might not sign Neuvers back to the team, depending on how much he wants. He is considered as a backup, but he's got that 85 overall, so I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Both of them are 28 years old. Obviously, Neuvers can step in if Mason would get injured in the playoffs. So I'd like to keep both of them, but we'll see what we can do. And yeah, as I just showed you, we got no big contracts expiring. In terms of all our top six, we got all of them for at least we got them for at least two more years after this. So three full years. And then in the fourth year, we got to sign Simmons. And then the fifth, we got to sign Lucic. And then we got Voracek and Giroux for a long time and Couturier for a long time. So we don't have to worry about cap space for the near future, which is really nice. Because we're going to need that for Hag when he comes up. And one more thing that I noticed was in our defensive core. Let me just show you our defensive core really quick. Because it's bad right now, but it's looking bright for the future. You might be able to see the guy right there. Provenov. This guy, elite potential, 82 overall. I was looking at the team and I was like, damn, that guy's really good. And then I go over, he's only 19 years old. He's going to be an insane defenseman. Two-way defenseman, he's going to be amazing. Now, his, I know in NHL 16 the, poten the potential can change. If that goes to elite high, oh man, we're going to have a 90 plus defenseman for sure. But he's still going to be high 80s. I'm going to guess minimum 88 because he's 19, 82 overall, and he has the elite. He's going to be playing in the CHL this year though. We look at the stats. His defense is all right. His shot blocking I'd like to get up there. Obviously he has almost no poise. He's 19 though. That's okay. He's a great skater, and that's about it. You know, he's got good puck control, good passing. He's got an all-right shot that needs to improve, and his physical needs to improve. Hopefully, that will improve in the CHL, because there's no way I'm bringing a guy up to the NHL that has two and a half for physical. His durability is good, but besides that, he really brings nothing to the table that we don't have on the team. And if you look at age, one thing I was thinking about was signing a top defenseman in free agency if he's out there. I know last year sometimes Hedman is in free agency. He wasn't there. So I don't know. We might There might be a big defenseman in free agency. I might get him. But I'm probably not going to because we look at our defensive core of the future. We've got two high sevens defensemen, both 18-year-old. We got Provenov, 19 years old, 82 already. We got a top four low, 20 years old. He's already 79. 
a top six medium who's also 20. We got Haig, obviously, 21 years old, 81 though, and he's high potential. And then we got Morn, who's 21, top six. We got a really good defensive core coming up. We've got one, two. Well, I'm not. I'm gonna. I don't know if I should count. What's his first name? I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that name. We got Travis, Travis Provenov, Hag, Shklem. Uh, I'm not even gonna try. David. So that's four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and then we got Morin, and maybe a Gostasphere of the future. So there's six right there. You know, we got Provenov and Hag probably taking over the top two in the future. Maybe Travis and Gostasphere, and then maybe like a David and Morin. That also means we got Delzato, Gudis, Manning. Well, not Manning. He He's only 76, but... We got Delzato, Gudis, Schultz to trade in the future. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to trade straight. That would just be unrealistic. But I'm not sure why Manning, his morale is so bad. I'm not sure. Can you check that from here? He has no concerns. He has no. He only has one low locker chemistry. I'm not sure why his morale is so bad then. Recently it's gone up. So I'm not too sure why his morale is so bad, but that's the team we got. I'm not sure if I've done scouting yet. Four weeks left, did I? What do we got? Defenseman, WHL? Yeah, okay. And let's go to free agency just to kind of check around the league, see what there is. Okay, wait, is he a restricted free agent though, I wonder? Let me check that. Let's go to restricted. Yeah, okay. So Beck and Gormley are restricted. I'm not going to try and get them. Let's go to UFA. We got Brewer, Havlat, Bork, Hawkson. That's interesting. Uh, Griba, Odell. I don't know who that is. So there is some depth we can pick up. I might pick up some of them for a one-year contract closer to the deadline for the playoffs. If it's looking like we're going to be a playoff team. But Hawkson might not be a bad one to pick up for. Not not our team. Because he's a playmaker. But for a team. For an offensive team. Like maybe a Dallas or a Ottawa. That would be a good pickup for them to make in the game. They, they probably won't though. Because it's a game. But <laughs> yeah I guess we're going to just start off simulation. Anything else I have to do before the season. We got team strategy, that's all good. Yeah, let's just start off the season. We're going up against New Jersey. New Jersey. And let's just simulate up the first six games, yeah. Actually, one thing I want to check. Make sure injuries, league settings. What about injuries is off? Yeah, we're going to have that on in the playoffs. One thing I like about 2K is injuries is so much easier to deal with because the menu is so much quicker. So let's go up. We got two big wins off the bat. So starting off pretty good. 3-1. and one. We start off 5-1. and one. Two of them in a shootout, but that's okay. So obviously two of them in a shootout, so our record could easily be 3-1-2. and two. Which is just an average record. So don't... I know it says 5-1, and one, but don't take that too... Take that lightly. Because, again, with one lucky bounce in a shootout, one good deke, it could easily be 3-1-2. and two. In the next episode, I guess we'll just see if we can continue the pace. I'm probably going to simulate a good chunk of the season. And yeah, see...